this is Crazy Copter coming to you live once again on Twitch. And tonight, we should, we should be able to conclude Paper Mario. And I say should because last time, I was not good at counting Koopas and Bonds, and then I got wiped out by three anti-guys. Hopefully we can avoid that mistake this time, but we'll see. One way or the other. Okay, carry out just because. And here we go again. Let's see if I can actually pay attention this time and actually. Yes, I know. I have to count. I have to carefully watch what's going on. Right. Four Goombas, three Dark Troopers. Yep, I should, yep, got that one right. But that was the first one, but easy earlier on, and then I get much, much harder, and again, if I blow it, then the anti guys come out. Three red, four blue, four green. Alright. Yeah, there were three red shy guys. I'm just having to carefully mod all of this. Alright. Two blue bombs, two red shy guys, and four blue shy guys. Did the red ones come out in the middle? I think I'm wrong. What I entered, I only said it because I saw him go into there when he went down. That's... Alright, I have to answer two more. Two Koopas, four red Koopas, three blue shy guys, and one green shy guy. Alright. Alright, just have to answer one more and. Yep. Yep, last one, hopefully. One red, one purple, one boomba. Alright. Four! I suppose this is much easier than it was last time. Yeah, I was getting long left and right last time, and... <laughs> and yeah, that... Great, that was excellent. I don't have to deal with the anti-guys this time. Thank goodness. Alright. Is this a super shroom? Nice. What's this? Ah, yes! I need some syrup. I don't need this mystery, or the mystery, as I guess it should be called. Actually, no, Koopa would be good here, I think. I don't need this additional thing. I'm going to the shrooms. No, I'm going to the shrooms, thank you. Right. Anything that knows a uh, jam and jelly, but. Alright, we're just gonna have to deal with this Koopa Troll and the. Uh, Good. Let them all down, so I should be able to do this now. I don't get why it doesn't do more damage to the bony beetle, but it does more damage to the die bones, so why not these variants with the undead enemies as well? Right. There we go. A normal power shell should do it this time. Okay. Let's check 
this sound. This is the last stretch of Bowser's castle specifically, not the final area of the hall, but because after that it's going to be uh, Peach's castle. Him. And the music gets even more intense. They get a nice little detail that doesn't really spread all that much in this game. Oh, look. A bunch of, uh, treads to rescue. Alright. Let's see if how this works. Let's go on the crew patrol. Nice. Alright. Let's see them. And oh, yeah, there's a pink one here, too. This, I'm guessing there's one of the guests or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a nice little nap on the hard and cold uh, bunk there. And let's see if these toads have anything else I to say. I think I'm second sense is toads are either very useful or very useless. And Paper Mario, you know, Paper Mario series in general they seem to hold on mostly being very useless. At least as far as this game is concerned. I think they may do a bit more level ones. Alright. I also have to contend with all the gossip about Mario potentially murdering the mayor, but... It's a pretty good thing he went there, actually. That was a headache. I'm just gonna save again, because... You never know, but... I don't have to worry about the end, guys, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, dry bone. He wouldn't run away, he'd put up a fight, but. Still kind of confused as to how you're supposed to tell the two apart, I suppose. Oh, that was only up for a small amount of time. I'll just do this. Okay. Get over here. Alright, really small amount of time. Okay, I guess I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be on the platform to have uh, Bombette trigger the switch. Yep, that's the only way. Am I going to the right right now? I'm going to... No, shroom! Alright. I can get rid of the shrooms now. I don't need that. I don't even recall, I even recall being in this room when I played it before. I thought this came like two... Like, yeah, two times before... Two or three times! I think three times, actually. No, I don't think I can really call it hanging out going to that room. I think it's just the best for... Oh no, not you. Ah. I don't know if it's not paying regardless of the game. Alright. This. Lucky off your room. Good. So... How effective this is gonna be? Check out the Magic Koopa! Oh man! He's been shrunk! Oh no! What a tragedy! Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a 
I've got to uh, take care of these bozos. And there they go. Nice. Alright. Do I need to go upwards? Do I need to clean? Do I know you? I don't care. Go away, wild hound lover. Whoa! Comet flipped. Alright. You know what? No. I'm gonna take you out. And... Hold back. I'll be good to deal with the rest. Oh! Bombs also picked up on dry bones, too. And yeah, just gonna run off. Of course. Yeah, more of the switch. Yeah, more of the switch conundrum. Let's see. Am I gonna have time? Probably not. Oh, I did actually. Nice. Got the castle key. It's a bit of stutter because this is anyway on the Wii. The virtual console and whatnot. Yeah, you can go away. I'll just go for here. Oh yes, there's a, this is gonna be like the old Tomato Bros. Uh, castle, isn't it? Let's see, top, bottom, bottom, top, bottom, top. You too. Oh boy. I'm kind of, you know what? Starstorm. Wait it out, storm, starstorm it out. That's just kind of my way of saying I don't care. Oh, that's one Cooper Troll gone. I'm not going to be able to take out the one Magic Cooper, but I don't care. One's better than none. And of course. As usual, please. Alright. Might wanna stock up on a FP. Let's... Yeah, maybe a slope should do. I'm not that I'm not doing that badly. I'm not too worried about the magic hoopers. Alright. Nice, uh hot box. I just wasted my, uh, syrup. That sucks. Alright. Oh! Whoops. Alright. And Peach is supposedly here. I remember being dumbfounded by this when I was younger. Like, I would literally go all the way back to Toad Town, and I was the longest time of what that was supposed to be with yeah. you. You know, you're supposed to go back at a certain time and catch the people ghost in the act. Because, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going. And they're not very good about keeping the facade up. Alright, come on. Not hurt anyone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, not duplex. All right. These guys shouldn't be too tough. They were enemies from the last major area of the game, so just bomb them all. This should work. 
not. Not too worried. Oh, nice. Yeah, you do that. It's gonna be really lovely. If you, yeah. We'll see what happens when you have one bomb set up multiple bombs. You get this! And a lot of people stop points, but whatever. Not the people ghosts actually die. Here's goal number three. And now it's time for Cooper's revenge. You guys do well. You're basically just uh, cosplaying as Ninja Turtles, which makes sense because Koopas are basically turtles. All the way back from the first real shot of the game, and kind of weird that Japan just kind of up and forgot about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in general. Like, the original 80s cartoon was all the rage in Japan, but none of the follow-ups, like the 2003 show, 2012 show, Rise, none of that really dominated uh, Japan. Only the original one, I guess this is kind of a remnant of that era. Be it like three years too late, perhaps. But nope, we're not fighting them. We're fighting Virginia Trooper one more time. You're a persistent little beggar. Alright. I don't like how slow pace this this thing is here. Alright, whatever. Let's see that. Crack your shell. I'm going back to the other too. Why not? And okay, that was pathetic. Like, I thought I was doing it fully. I don't have FP, but that's not an issue. Oh. And yeah, I think he also has to in different forms this time. He does. Ouch. No, I like to do this. Still have the spike badge on. Probably one of the best badges in my opinion. At least I like using it. Just being up here, carry. He's usually the bomb that comes to doing this. this. Ah. Let's get a little refresh and I don't know if Karakay do the leg work for me. Karakay is pretty reliable. That was reliable. Alright. You get this. It might have jumped up. And he missed. He's doing his little sorcerer routine. No, oh, you, no, you did do well. All right. Yeah, I think I need some more. Uh... Okay, I chose a bit too much. Even I don't have everything else. All right, I'll just do this. I'm not too worried. Just kind of wish I had better. On me. Right. Again, let me pressure what cut. Go to the star. And do another shell shot. Effectively. Oh, I'll just use a shooting star. I'm not really, I haven't really made any 
fighting around as much. But I have, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'll need these for like fighting Bowser. But why not? Well, I used to do one point of extra damage compared to usual. Refreshing again, it's not the lack of health, it's the lack of flower points. I need to do special attacks a lot now. Oh well, at least this isn't the shoot em up segment for battle toads. I'm not getting the same angry offensiveness from Junior Trooper than I was from that. Alright. Nah. I'm not sure either. I'm trying to think that would be ideal for... Just keep refreshing. Not original, but whatever. Okay, I guess I'm gonna... Uh... Well, thanks to the stuff going on in Super Smash Bros. I kinda went... with my friends to check out the example of Chronicles games again. Specifically the first one, I went and got that... I had a lot of fun with it, actually. Like, I had- I got a long time ago for the new 3DS. That broke down, couldn't really play farther to it, and like, I got like as far as the uh, Colony 6. Like, the beginning of that side quest. But then I got on the Switch, was able to play for the game again, and it was really fun. Not a big fan of the new, uh, Future Connected stuff. That wasn't as impressive to me. Didn't help that the voice actors sound like they were half of the time they were whispering. Like they were afraid they were gonna disturb somebody sleeping. Not the worst thing ever though, when it was just an extra add on top of the original game, so no biggie. And I forgot I had not forgotten the uh, Exam Chronicles X and uh, 2. I'm probably not gonna be straying them completely. Again, I'm kind of skittish about doing RPGs in, RPGs in general. Like, Paper Mario's the first one I've done. And it's felt to be shocking that some of the other ones I've played, but I might do X as a one off on Monday, simply because I was like a character creator and that's always much more fun. Not to mention that there's a lot of cheesy stuff in it. But I'm not gonna be streaming. Like, I have no. Be able just to go back to the first game right now after I've beaten it, and don't know if I want to stream two either. Like, it's stupid. Like, my something that's kind of appealing, weird, not appealing, but kind of interesting about the Xavier series is that they all have like a different aesthetic going for them. Like, they all have their own identity in terms of like looks and concepts, and I personally like, I love the first games. World, but its characters, and I don't know if I'm gonna feel that way about X or two for various reasons. And while I've been talking, I've beat Junior Trooper, and I'm just talking to the one side that's been hiding in the furniture. I don't know, but yeah, X had that weird. X has this weird. Kind of more anime, like mecha anime influence, fluid style, kind of also a bit more west for the western player, I'll bring that. And then too, I'm not a big fan of the character events in general, especially since some of them are like held by Namora. His obsession with putting like belts and zippers on everything. I mean I don't detest Namora's art style, it's fun, like it's but it's just like, I've never been a big fan of when he did the art design for like the Final Fantasy games, but the, uh, Amano's character designs, like, I love Amano in general, he was, uh, not just, he was the original character designer for the Final Fantasy games, he also worked on a bunch of Tatsunoko shows, which you're probably not familiar with, like, he did a lot of designs for, uh, Gotcha Man, or some people might know as Battle of the Planets. I know him personally for like doing the time broken character designs. 
Which is a little bit out of his comfort zone, because you have like the designs in the Test Medical shows are generally a bit more simplistic compared to then the Kamaha's designs for like the um, Like his own artwork from Fantasy. Even the, the way he's being interpreted some of the like Tyson Knuckle characters outside of like the shows, it's made based on people. I don't I can't say the same thing about Momoa. In fact, Momoa is specifically singled out to do like seven onward, at least in that range of it, because he had a simple art style and that was kind of reflecting like they wanted a more simple looking Final Fantasy for the PlayStation 1. And I kind of like that's not to say Final Fantasy VII itself is basic, but the, but in terms of the design, like the super the form, the models and such, that's something that I've been having a blast of that game off stream. I need to, I've been needing, needing to go back to it, especially since I also picked up the remake. Well, not so much picked up, that was a freebie on PlayStation Plus, but it's like I have both the original and the remake now. Maybe I should give those a spin. Like, maybe. I'll, Maybe streaming the remake, but not the original game. That's kind of been something I've been doing on the off time. Oh, I was. I haven't touched it in like months. Last time I was doing like trying to march in a parade and do salutes several times in a row. Really super ambitious game and kind of access a little fair shortcut. There's no point here, I suppose, but. Well, then, the little detail. Can I go onto the balcony, though? Yes, I can. Love that little detail about, like, Memora, Mono, Final Fantasy, and whatnot. That said, though, my plans in the future are kind of laid out already, as far as streaming goes. Monday, I'm going to be trying to do Flynn Cop with my brother, which we'll see how that goes. We haven't actually tested it out yet, because I remember when I first got my graphic card, I was having weird issues playing Swing Cop. It wasn't the gra graphic card itself, it was the bandwidth. But I also had a wireless connection. Everything's wired when I play now. And I know I'm going to be playing after this, but yeah. I actually didn't get to play Bowser now. Clown car, which at the time was very uncommon. I don't think there was any other game that really had in that. And then the new Smart Brothers games happened, and that's like, that's been associated with Sun to the point where I think a Sun can't walk outside of the thing. Alright. Let's make a jump on you. 10 points of damage, nice. So it's a sweet 16 every time I attack now. If I didn't hit at all, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I have the badge that makes it harder for enemies to hit Mario, but still, I expect it to look far worse than it actually is. And now, time to the Star Wars trick. I didn't say rod, I said rod, apparently. This. Does this ability have any use outside of uh, getting their puzzles and its ability? Does it actually like work as an attack or is it just purely. I think it's purely for this. I remember when I was younger, I think when I was younger, I tried using that attack elsewhere and nothing happened. I think anti guards are tougher than Bowser is. Not just this first fight, but even the second fight after this. Saving that for another mega jump. I blocked it before Pele Carry is incapacitated now. And it shows very turquoise, which, wow, I never really noticed that. Thanks to a little parcel I carried, I probably thought he was like a brown shell. Not 
Is just gonna lie there helpless and okay. All right, I'd rather he attack me than not do anything at all. All right, all right. let's build a snowman. We can make him our best friend. We can name him Bob. We can name him Bill. Snowman, snowman, snowman. I forgot Liam shot any song, by the way, because I don't want to risk potentially getting copyrighted here because, because I mean, I'm a terrible singer to begin with, but I don't want to, like, I don't want trauma to come after me for trying to sing that song. I prefer it over the other snowman song. Alright. Yeah, I want more flower points. Yeah, it was a warm up, but. I think I might be cool though. Sit though, I am kind of contemplating something. And I want. I, I don't know. I'm bit only a half hour into the stream, and, uh. I could finish a final fight, fight with Battle Bird, but then what would I have left to do for the remainder of the stream? Because I'm very poor, poor at planning out stuff in advance. I could probably find another Mario game to play on here. Like, I have a bunch of Nintendo consoles picked up in front of my TV right now 64, Wii, Switch. I could probably put. I'm not going to do another Paper Mario game anytime soon. I mean, the, the games are fun, at least the first two are. But, uh... I do kind of want to slow down on, like, playing RPGs for a bit. I mean, this is the sim one of the more simpler ones, but... So, I was, so yeah, I want to go get that last cake mix that's been haunting me these past few streams. If I recall, I guess I think that like, you know, I get the cake mix this year, the Shy Guys in the toy box, or whatever. One thing I do not like about this, though, at least even Jumping Mario, is that it's kind of a nuisance to travel back and forth. I think if I was even made that a lot easier, like the levels were much more spaced out and like shortcuts to and fro. But here, if I want to go all the way back to Tail Town, I have to basically go through the entirety of uh, the fortress again. I've solved most of the puzzles I've dealt with. Most of the enemies are going to be a piece of people to deal with, that's not the issue. There's a bit of TDM. Gotta spin my way back over there. Doesn't have the enemy respawn, so there's no setting up. I'm also missing uh, two uh, power-ups, one for Kambalia and one for Michael. I'm sorry. Like, I'm really sorry about this, but I just would feel better if I actually took care of that before I moved on to the final fight. Probably should have done that earlier, but... I don't know. I am very poor at planning. Super poor at planning. That is really tricky to avoid all of that. Not impossible, but like really tricky. Alright, let's just stall storm it. I know, it's not appealing to have to go back and forth in this game, but... At least I 
just hope my voice doesn't... I hope my voice doesn't appall you. Uh, but yeah, basically doing what I did when I was younger here. Basically going back and forth. Because... I feel guilty about not buying the cake mix. Again, I apologize, but... I'd rather do this than scramble to find something else to put on right after I'm done with the game. So... Sorry. I think of an that can, like, preside over. I don't know, it's like... I actually do have most of the Mario games, I believe. Like, at least those are the mainline ones. Like, I don't have the Super Mario Land games. I played them. I used to have two, but I lost that one. And, uh... I don't have most of the new games. As in, the new Super Mario Brothers games. I only, like, have... the Wii one. I don't have the DS one, I don't have two, I don't have you. I just felt like a one and done sort of thing. Also, I think is part of the issue in that it kind of simplified Mario as a whole. Not just that, not just the new style, but like every Mario game, or most of the Mario games I've made after kind of have this vanilla feel. Like, they're afraid to take too much risks what can be done is what I feel. Like, these phony deals, the Koopa Trolls, are like completely gone after the second game. Maybe they've been into Paper Mario, but I don't know. But it doesn't necessarily mean the game themselves are bad, it's just that they got less adventurous in reinterpreting Mario's world. And I all and I kinda contribute a lot of that to how they the success of the new Smart Brothers series because those are basically throwback games and basically they do stuff since those games did well that you don't need to do anything creative <laughs> at least structurally in a Mario game. So Basically, if they were to make a game like the original Paper Mario in today's world, it would not happen. And that's not to say that, again, that's not to say that newer games are bad, not in the slightest. They can still be very fun games, it's just that... Maybe Nintendo got paranoid about what happened, what happens with, like, Sonic OCs, and they decided that we can't have that going on for, like, Koopas or Goombas anymore. Even though there's nothing inherently, uh... Like I said, nothing in Halo at least as far as these games have done. Again, this game, these games are so bad. Did I actually take them out or they actually respawn? Alright, I'm not gonna waste my time with the bullet build blasters and oh jeez. Like I say, I am. Alright. Alright. You wanna be like that? Not going bad out. But yeah, again, the puzzle designs are very simple in this game. They're just, uh, they have this different coloration. They have, like, some sort of little decoration on them, but even that's a little taboo in later games in general. Not just Paper Mario, but in general. It seems like the exception is that you can have characters, uh, you can have new characters, like, brand new characters. But they can't be based off like pre-existing concepts like the enemies or the stars or anything. They have to like look completely different. Decent point is like Luigi's Mansion. The second game, Dark Moon, was kind of one of the first examples that came out about a new wave, I'll call it. And it was basically kind of it was like it didn't have anything in regards to remarkable bosses. It just it was all kind of plain looking. But then we just have to see brought back like the unique boss ghosts and such. So that's still that's a thing that can still happen. You can 
can still I can create new stuff, I just can't look like any of the pre-existing stuff. Which I again, if it means I can at least express some creativity, I'm all for it. And like I said, I was rated mansion because that's how the original game comp played out. Like, though it did have shy guy guns in the first game. Not nothing like that in the sequels. Well, I think Nintendo as a whole kind of has a bias, a bias against Shy Guys. But no, I'm sure... But no, like, I'm sure Color Splash and Origami King are pretty good games in their own right. Don't know if that's the case of Sticker Star, though. That one seems like it's kind of a bit of a... I don't know what I, how I feel about that one. But, um... I can't get by something that's nice, which is something. Yeah, but I, I got a little gold cooper, but I don't know if he's gonna be too much for here. But again, if you like those games, if you like Stick of Star, that's fine. It's just that I don't know how to feel about that. It's kind of funny, too, because this even seeps into the mainline games to an extent, because... Uh, so, basically, Super Mario 3D World has the main ensemble of, like, the Super Mario Brothers 2 slash USA has ensemble. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. Well, apparently, they want some- the higher-ups wanted, uh, didn't want Peach to be playable. They wanted her to play her usual dance on the stress wall. But, uh, one of the head programmers of the- on 3D World was like, no, we want to have Peach as one of the playable characters. Please let us do this. And they relented, and they created Spixies to replace her, but... It's kind of an uphill battle, to and then there's like the whole thing about Mario Galaxy 2 and how they basically had to tone that down because they didn't like Rosalina or the story, which that's kind of subjective, but it's like, the story part is, but it's like, me and Mario and the higher ups are like very afraid of changing the status quo for some reason, or shaking up too much. It's not said that they don't, but it's like... They have to fight tooth and nail to let this stuff even happen. But as a byproduct... And that's the thing though, I know people will probably buy these games regardless of what's in them, but that kind of brings up a point too, is like... How many people, like... So whether, regardless of whether it has any sort of content, people are going to buy the Mario games in general, regardless. So it's like, by that logic, you could assume, you know, why bother doing stuff like some Paper Mario partners, but at the same time, why not do them? Because, again, people are going to buy the games regardless, so why not have, just do whatever? As long as it looks and feels like Mario, I think that's fine. I think the only Mario game I've played that kind of deviated a real bit too much from that would be Super Paper Mario. I mean, the game's got... The game's not bad, it's just that I'm not terribly thrilled with, like, the story and the overall design of the game, like, the character design, the world, is very un-Mario-like to me, and apparently that's been the scapegoat for why they changed the direction of the future games, which is a little unfair, but... I'm just gonna be a country and say that I'm not a big fan of paper, Super Paper Mario's direction. A lot of gameplay is, I guess, more is actually closer to that of the older, of like a traditional Mario game. The overall presentations, like, the overall story, I feel like could be cut and pasted into any sort of scenario. We don't need Mario and Luigi and Peach and It doesn't hurt, but it doesn't add anything to it. You could easily cut the Mario stuff out of Paper Mario and it would still, the story as it is would still work. That's just how, that's just the way Super was designed. And the problem in the is like enough that you could even, that you could even get, probably get away with not having Mario, like you don't have to change the gameplay, you could still get away with getting rid of the Mario stuff. But then you go in the opposite direction of like Stick of Star and then that in you know, itself becomes a problem. Where you're not allowed to like do anything 
like, the most variations can have a big version of the enemy. That's it. You can't have a unique offshoot. Unless said offshoot comes from, like, one of the mainline games. Specifically Sunshine, because Koopa Blooper and Peeza are on a... And you're right, it's like, but again, it's like, it feels like it's not that bad to do anything out of the norm for Maya nowadays, and it's kind of sad. And again, it doesn't mean this mean the game themselves are bad, it's just that the original Paper Mario, as it's designed here, was probably not applied to those standards. And it has. And I'm sorry, I don't want to badmouth Miyamoto, but I feel like he's a little too old fashioned. It's kind of weird, too, because. Up to, up to like the 64 days, he came up, he was kind of responsible for a lot of interesting directions, like... He's the one that kind of it's his actions that led to, uh, Majora's Mask being created. And then there was his directions toward Rare, which kind of helped, like... Rare's cart racing game was just gonna be like a Aussie program with animals, and then like, me and Moe compared like, Oh, that seems like a cool concept, why don't you... Put Diddy Kong in. The game would do better that way, and so it became a Diddy Kong racing game. And then Rare was making a shooter, a third person shooter with uh, kids fighting evil alien ants. It's like, this game looks fun, but maybe it would look better if you made the main protagonist adults, and then that worked. But these changes are logical and they make sense. Like, they seem reasonable, but then, like, you get to the whole reason why Bounce of Time became, became Soft Box Adventures. I'm wondering if Miyamoto just resenting that deeply, because he made a game that was had nothing to do with Star Fox originally into a Star Fox game, and the game was largely Star Fox in name only, and I'm wondering because of that, he's reluctant to do any sort of a... I'm wondering if that particular decision haunts him, because I'm wondering that's why he's so protective of, like, Mario and F-Zero. Not that particular of Zola, though. That said, though, he was heavily involved in Skyward Sword, that game that's getting a re-release soon, by the way. Uh, and that's considered by many to be one of the weaker Zelda games. I have never played it. I don't know if I want to play it anytime soon. And whoops. Don't step on fire, kids. Uh, but yeah. That's the one uh, Zelda game he was involved with in recent years, and surprise, surprise, it's considered to be one of the weakest, so... I just don't know what happened. He was just... He also, like, made some weird suggestions regarding uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Like, he was insistent that Donkey Kong had the blow on things. The set, like, that was a super big priority. Donkey Kong had, had the blow stamp. And then when they made Tropical Freeze, which Miyamoto had less involvement in, they got rid of that concept because it's just kind of silly and had, had nothing. It's just... Miyamoto is just a very quirky person, and... It's not just him, though. It's the higher up at Nintendo, like, the executives. They seem to have a similar mindset to Miyamoto. At least they have his backing on it, all of these controversial decisions. They also seem to be the ones responsible for, like, not allowing the Kremlings into Donkey Kong. At least not the retro made games. But not off limits completely, Ellie. Like, you can have, uh... You can have King K. Will and Smash Brothers. Like, you, you can still use the Kremlings, it's just that they're discouraged from using them for whatever reason. No, I'm not trying to sound too negative. It's also the reason why Smash Bros. is a weird toy concept, actually. Like, the whole idea with Smash Bros. is that all the characters are trophies or toys that fight each other, not the real versions of the characters. And that came about because... Sakurai was trying to pitch the game to all the people behind these franchises, and his mother was like, I'm not gonna let you do a game on my computer copy now of them. And he was only on board when he, when he was told that they would all be like toys, they wouldn't be like the real Mario or friends, they were all like cheap, soulless knockoffs of them. 
And that's kind of, so that's why Smash Bros. has that, but then, recently, they're like, Oh, these are the actual characters. No, no, they're not. It, it goes back and forth. At this point, I think the only, the only reason they keep going to that angle with them being figures of toys is purely so they can, uh, just not have Miyamoto complain, because if that happened, then Miyamoto would probably get rid of the Mario character. We'll tell if I'm to get rid of the Mario character. At last, I got my bloody cake mix. So I can make that damn cookie cookie. It took forever, but jeez, I should have done this earlier. But I wasn't so sure you, you can get more cake mixes here, and I thought you can get them at stores, but apparently not because nobody sells cake mixes in the Mushroom Kingdom. Why do they not sell cake mixes in the Mushroom Kingdom? Why do only why do shy guys have them but no one else? It's driving me- it drives me mad! I want the- Yeah, I got the cake mix! And then I make that- Blasted cookie- That- Blasted coops! Just- That little pet peeve of mine, I just want to get it out of the way that- That's been- That's been, like, Nibbling at me since it was brought up! Alright! Yeah, the Koopaly. And the cake mix. I hope it's the right, right in ingredients. Should be. If not, then I'm just gonna feel so, so disappointed. There you go. There's the cookie cookie. There we go. Now let's end this. Let's end this trauma. Let's end this suffering. And let's go do some exploration elsewhere too, Lorena. Right, let's go here yeah, first and foremost. Alright. Yeah. Here's your blasted. Yeah, Bino Dinos. Lovely. Simcon, yeah. Now what do you want? I'm gonna go visit Blue and go see Gulch. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna ask again because I was. Alright, I'll go and talk to one of the random dudes at the Ghosty Gulch. But first, let me go and double check something. I haven't really explored this place too much. Oh, oh, this is... Yeah, this is why I need to... Should have gone and explored the temple to my flirty, because... So I can give him the words for the... Song... Song I had earlier. Alright. And I can actually write the composition and... Alright. That can wait though, we're gonna go deal with Boo. Actually no, let's look around here. Anything else of interest here? Anything? Oh yeah, I told you know, I... Yeah, you gave me hints about the desert. Alright. Just gonna go check out the Boo's Ghosty Gulch and whatnot. I believe it's down here. Yeah, this is this should be the pipe. Let's go, Jeep. Gonna install some stuff. I have to go and challenge the master too, the martial arts master as well. We're here, so I asked me do I have any letters? I probably do. Or not. Good, I kind of Maybe there's something I'm missing in... Oh. You know what, you should take my option. There's no point to this whatsoever. I don't even get star points if I'm gonna... But... 
I'd rather gain some points and lose some. And these Paragons kind of are gonna be a real pain. You know what? That wasn't worth it. I'm just gonna run away. We weak lower than me, but the hell I am. Okay. Are you one of the boo? Yeah. Are you? Oh, nice. Or not. Oh, here we go. Yeah, be mean, be nasty. Alright, do you have your package yet? Yep. There we go. Let's do our errands for this old coot. And... Yes, he's gonna out there in sin, but he has to. He's not an infinite well of randomly generated errands. He's not pressing Garvey, he's not... This isn't far for... Well, he just won't stop. I mean, I like doing... I'm one of those guys who likes doing as much as I can in the game sometimes, but... I want some sort of conclusion. I don't want it just be indefinitely going on and on again. Or rather, on and on and on! I don't know why that particular line haunts me. I hate re re repetitive lines. Like, oh, I would say hate. That's too strong a word. But just get in my head too easily. And for that reason, I'm gonna refrain from making certain choices in our future Xenoblade games. Alright. The coconut. Yeah. Well, that's simple. I can just go to the Yoshida Isle. Isle. Got plenty of coconuts there. Got a swimmer over there with sushi. That kind of sticks over to a way to the games too. Yoshis can talk. They've been shown to talk since like Super Mario World, actually, but the way the Super Mario games just make them dumb animals again. Like the note I wouldn't say they're necessarily dumb animals, but the uh, but the idea is, is that uh, yeah, they can talk to Mario, but they can't talk to, at all in the later games, even though. Again, as far back as the original Super Mario, where they were established to actually talk. And they can talk in their own games, well, maybe not the Yoshi games, but they do have their own society. Kind of the same treatment as the Kongs, like, they can talk, but when they appear in, like, spells or whatever, they treat them as though they make monkey noises and nobody else actually talks, talk, they don't, like, speak English, they actually just make monkey noises. King K. Rool and the Kremlins can speak English, though. Or whatever language you're, you're playing when you're playing these games. Kremlings can speak languages, Kongs cannot, apparently. At least that's the, what the spin offs imply. Alright. Oh no, it's one of these... It's like the dry hammer and dusty shroom thing. Dusty hammer, dry pasta, dusty hammer... Okay, dry... So I have to buy four items. A dried hammer, dried pasta, dried hammer... Dried... I don't know what the last thing is. I have plenty of space in my inventory. 
Alright. Trusty hammer. Dried pasta. Trusty hammer. Dried pasta again? No. Really? No. I have play for the spare, so it's not an issue. Don't need the dusty hammer though. So let's sell them. Yes. Yes. How many do you have power block two? Don't see any real need for at this point in the game. Alright. Let's see. Dusty hammer. Dried pasta. Dusty hammer again, and then what's the last one? Dried shrimp? Yep, that was it. Alright. Thank goodness I wasn't stuck on that. Alright. So, let's go ahead and give it the hit. Is it like a blue jaw or something, or a green jaw, or any of those jaws? Or is that just... Especially for this. Alright. I got three star pieces. Great. One last favor. Nice. Oh, and just... Fight Bowser. Well, he does. I'll do that, but first things first, uh, let's uh, do some more things. Let's go fight the master, the toad town master. Let's give that a test in. Alright. Alright. Let me get there first and foremost. Just spin my way over there. I think I'm... I think that's well, probably a good... One the bring to this fight, I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Excuse me for a second though, I need to take care of something quickly. Alright, that wasn't much. I just had to let my cat out of the room. I got my door repaired not too long ago, so no, not only does it not, no longer make that horrendous creaking sound whenever I open it, I can actually shut it and they don't have to, and they can't get the budge away in and out now. That said, I have to open it for them when they get cranky. Surprised that they're not very excited this time. They're usually excited when I, uh, stream. Yeah, they're not, though. Alright. Time to fight, uh... Super Saiyan 2, Master. Alright. I'm gonna focus primarily on using, uh... Monitor Attack, and... I try to paralyze them, let's see. Alright. I did. I guess that wasn't gonna work. Alright. And it missed! Lovely. But I do love damage. I need to think. We gotta be, uh. Does Michael do it? We'll see. Ah! Oh wow, that is really nasty. I have a live stream in case something bad really happens, but... Alright. I'll just do this for right now. That should help. And I'll just keep mega tripping on him and see how that turns out. Alright, avoid that. Let's give 
give this a whirl. Yep. Mayo is the jump man after all. Or rather, he's a donkey. Yeah, he's not the jump man, he's the donkey. Nice. Good cloud. Nice cloud. Must keep doing this. Doesn't do much, but. Ouch. Ouchy ouch. Let's use a super shroom, why not? Get a refund out of it too. I don't want to use the Ultra Shroom though, I want to save stuff like that for uh, Bowser. Alright, there we go. He seems to stop being merciful, but then he does stuff like that still. Alright. Cut two things of Jamming Jelly, why not? And I am getting a lot of coins out of that! That refund badge is like really, really effective, especially since I don't really buy most of my items. Alright. You see this? Thank you, Michael. Ouch. Does the action take effect here or no? It does. It does. Okay. Up and at him. And let's get us a roll. If I die, I die. And... Why not? Flying toss. Which did less damage than a normal attack would have. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Grab a Let's save up a Bowser. Let's do a spiny flip and see how that turns out. Now I go. Well, not. Cool. Cool. And he's still not going down either. Bit neck and neck. Now I go down. Well, not. Cloud Nine is like really useful when you're on the verge of dying, it seems. And down he goes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I also remember too this uh, little dojo thing that throw back to uh, the one in Super Mario RPG. So yeah. Sweet. I have done the absolute best of that. And I'm gonna go and just Seriously, spin my way back up to the top of the tower. So I managed to kill at least uh, half an hour of time. Alright, don't mind me, I'll just figure out, I'll scramble and do something. Alright. Let's bring out a. Uh, Okay, because I again he's my favorite partner in general, yeah. Just gonna spin over here because Sorry. That's kinda what I get for not flying these things out in advance, but I feel pretty good now. I feel like I can take things on now. Alright. Anyway, I got some ideas about what to do after, like immediately after. I know I have planned for next week, but I don't have any time to set up, set that up right now. So there we go. Yep. 
too strong though. Past the uh, blue flames. At least this game actually knows that blue flames are more deadly than red flames. There's a lot of games that make that mistake. Even other Mario games. Alright. Oh, let's check this now. Let's answer another quiz since we're here. Yeah, why not? What's the quiz this time? Uh, the Goomba King, obviously. Big Goom sounds a little appropriate, I suppose. Alright. Farewell. Let's actually... Let's actually get some... You know what? We're in a position where we can actually buy stuff. Let's buy another... Life Shroom. Let's buy a Super Shroom while we're at it. And... Yeah, definitely some Maple Syrup. Everything in life is great with Maple Syrup, apparently. Alright. That's a... Let's actually get upwards. Let's actually get a move on. Let's actually finish this. Anyways, I didn't say this. I think I haven't said this yet, at least while they've been playing, but next week I'm going to be starting uh, Ape Escape. My favorite PlayStation 1 platformer. And I'm playing it largely because I'm acknowledging, I'm basically giving it a farewell because the series is dead, dead, dead. Especially with Sony's, Sony Computer Entertainment Japan's division being shut down. Edge, just a bum rap. I'm never gonna see a new Ape Escape game. Nobody's gonna see a new Ape Escape game. I want to at least play the original classic. For how great and magnificent that was. It's like one of my favorite platformers up there with Banjo Kazooie. It's that marvelous. Maybe the sequel as well, I don't know. I do have other things I want I do wanna try out. Alright. Just gonna try to ignore the enemies. Or not. Cooper Troll is on turf and I have a maybe I can get one more opportunity to like perhaps I have like one opportunity to level up, so why not take that chance and get it? Let's do it. Let's spell storm the Cooper Trolls. Alright. Okay. That works. Block these two. Oh, I'm not gonna hit for that one entirely. Oh, this block? Yep, it works just fine. Alright, next battle should uh, take care of that. That's just a. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with the hammer burns though, that's too much for me. I'm gonna save just in case something happens. I don't think anything will, but you never know. Power could go out, game could crash, you never know. Now, I think this will crash, and I've not really had that happen. As long as I'm not playing up an SD card, I'm playing directly on the Wii itself, so. Alright. Not right now, maybe later. But, uh, I'll think of stepping to do for the next hour or so, if, I, if I'm finished with this, which I probably will be. I would be surprised if I'm done by 6 already, but I still want to do some other stuff, not just Paper Mario. I'll find something else related, maybe. Ah. Alright. I won't be like that, I'll be like this. I get at least one point out, so that will work for me. Yep. No, 
why not? I want more power points. Power points mean a lot to me right now. Don't want to fight these things. Can I just... Can I run away from them? You can, but it's super... rare. I just don't want to bother. I guess I'll keep, I will keep bothering, it seems. How well, much does Kerry Kerry Sky Shop do? Okay, it doesn't a heavy amount of damage. Not enough to actually take him out, though. Ah! That always gets, that always makes me anxious whenever it freezes up like that. I had, I, I rented the game on an actual cartridge when it first came out all those years ago, but... Good luck at finding it on, good luck finding a cartridge like that now. And like I said, I can't even get this, like... The original Wii's virtual console is gone, so I can't get this in case something happens to the game on here, so... Yeesh. Alright. I have to stall some, just wipe them out and just... Alright, let's do this. Let's just... Stall storm the bill blasters away. Or not. Can Kara Kiri take them out? Alright. We can take that one out. Actually, to take this build blaster out so I don't have to look at it again. Alright. And you can go away now. Alright. That doesn't have to take control. Let's actually just get up to the top. Oh boy. These build blasters are something. Bronze build blasters, or whatever you want to call them, and don't. No, I we can already need these guys. I bet I can use it to get past the uh, build blasters since they're not like mini bosses. Yep, I can. That's good enough. Probably should have done it in the first place. Alright. Hello, dry bones. Goodbye, dry bones. Or not! Now you choose to mess up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's try running away again. There we go! Didn't want to deal with that at all. I have plenty of points of spare, so I'm not too. I'm not fitting over that. Let's just get out of here. Save points. Guy quiz room. Go. Let's just go, 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 go. Up, up, up. Up and spin. That's basically what it's going to amount to for the next few minutes, unfortunately. Popping and spinning. Up, up against the Magic Hoopers. Running away from Magic Hoopers. Hopefully, running away. Nice. Alright, there we go. Last stretch for the actual big confrontation with Bowser. And it should be just a simple. Well, it should be simple, but not unless it's time for anything to say about it, James. No! They also do that if you like turn them away. Like, they get only charge up when you, you, it feels like. Alright. You know what? Can you do this for me, please? I don't use the power up much, but I really don't want to bother with this right now. If you could just, like, 
Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm gaping for my bed. I don't care, I just want to get up to where it's nice and cozy. Kind of super shimmy now, that's nice. I mean, how could I forget it was down below, not up above? Alright, we can just go away. Top, bottom, bottom, top, bottom, top. Alright. Okay. Top, bottom. about that. Alright. It should work. And we should be towards the tail end of Bowser's Castle, not the top end of uh, Peach's Castle. There we go. Oops. Okay, I don't feel as bad about this one, though. Just got multi-bounce. Go. Yeah, I'll actually risk, risk it and fight these guys. Alright, just. And that's, they all went down. What's kind of amazing too about Pip the original Paper Mario is that a lot of elements from it were incorporated into other games, even like a mainline one. Uh, Bowser's Castle from this game is in the background of uh, My Cop Super Circuit. Which was, I believe, called the Verified by Intelligence System, that one, but... The Goomba King is a boss in the DS version of Super Mario 64. And the Star Spirits appear in uh, Mario Party 5. And that's probably the... not one of the greatest Mario Party games, though, in my opinion. Alright. Well, sit and ring to go. Probably gonna have Paracarry out because he's my favorite, he's the best, paratroopers are great. Even if it's just Koopas with wings, but they're still a great, they're still great. Alright, this is where I do my... Okay, it wasn't here. Where, where was it? It was the library in the other room. Here. How did you get upwards? I remember even doing it in the Peach segment, so that's the thing that gets me. It's like, you can, there should, there should be a way to climb upwards, but I forgot how you do that. Like... Yeah, I remember you... But it seems like I... Like, yeah, I remember there was a way you could... Oh, that's how you go over here onto the stack of books and jump up. Yep, that's how you do it. And a life room. Uh, I don't need the super shroom. They, they, they both restored 10, and it just fell out of boundaries. Cool. It both restored 10 pieces of health, but one can revive, and that would be nice in case things don't pan out. But they should, though. The boss isn't that. The power boss isn't that hard. Just gonna have to make our way upwards. I like how ominous the music is here. It's like real sense of dread and then Bowser's confessed extreme here. Alright. Let's go upwards and let's get ready for the final showdown. This should be fun. And Gonna save here, and let's see what 
Foreman awaits me at the bird. That said, though, I know, I remember pretty fondly that the beginning part of this is pretty scripted. No effort, really. Just got go for the motions until the real fight kicks in. Nice little sit piece, though. Little plan B. The Contagion C. Clown car. Thing. Power booster, clown car, cami made up. Again, it's kind of weird. In a way, she replaces Cami from the mainline games here, but it also makes sense in a way, too. She looks more of a distinct, like, Cami is just a Magic Cooper. You have. You, thanks to a mistranslation, is basically a separate keg now, which is cool. I love Kamek. He's one of my favorite. I would say Yoshi Kamek, because since he's one of the of that in the mainline games, but. It's, like, I like the Kamek so much, I named one well, of my cats after him, but. Alright. Again, I remember this pop being scripted, so I'm not gonna. Waste any big fancy things on them. There you go. Block that. Gonna wait for him to try doing the Star Rad stuff again. Again, I remember this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Scripted. I'm gonna try getting rid of that power again, that's not gonna work. Yep, stopping, nothing happens. Take the dire. It got to the, that's it then, it got to the whole simplifying Mario thing. It got to the point where they didn't even have, rather than even have personality and stick a star. He was just generic, I'm gonna kidnap Peach and mech, mech things up sort of guy. Though I think, I'm guessing Color Splash and Origami King, I don't know about Color Splash, Origami King I think gives probably more personality, or gives him back his personality. A little bit more bumbling, oh, tyrant that he's supposed to be. And here's Trink's relevance. Star X Machina, right here. Like, not just trying to rescue Peach here, but. What happens? And oh boy! That's the emulation issue there. I don't remember that happening when playing on the actual uh, cartridge. Alright. Just build this. Nothing happens. This is basically the fair bit from Earthbound, in a sense. Just keep praying and that's gonna take care of the monster. Kind of funny little callback there, her block thing. That's how she tried to impede my progress at the beginning of the game. Putting a little roadblock there. And that's apparently the only thing she can do, at least as far as this game's concerned. I think she's a bit more aggressive when you fight it in the sequel. So, here we go again. Just taking less damage now. She's taking more damage. I'm indifferent about Twink, honestly. He serves an edit roll. There's a way to tell Mario about how we go next. So this little, uh, again, Star X Market uh, thing. I have no clue what the actual deity of the Mushroom Kingdom is. 
if I even had a deity. The cap of multiple deities, perhaps. And yet, completely ineffective now. All scripted. All simple. And down goes Kami Koopa. You're gonna do both more and less in the next game. Worth something. Less in terms of story, more in terms of actual combat skills. Kinda like how the boom's just floating there too. Nice little touch. Pray, pray, that seems to be the most cliche way of dealing with something in RPGs like this. Actually, able to make a dent. Apparently, he's more powerful than the other star spirits combined. Like, he has all the powers of the star spirits. And man, the game is chugging. I don't know if that's the, the game normally does that. That's another wonderful emulation hiccup. I think it's a combo of both, honestly. It could just be my nostalgic memories of clouding me. Oh yeah, I think I automatically heals Mario, but... Yeah, it's Peach Beam now. Or Peachy Beam, whatever. A real final fight with Foul Bulligans here. Alright. Yep, time to do this. Time for the actual final fight. I remember dying to over and over again when I was a kid until I was able to beat it and then it became a kickwalk ever since. Hopefully I don't eat those reds. Big target. Really big target. Nice try. Alright. I think that Tetris attack vibes from the music here, oddly enough. Pretty rockin', but... You know what? No, let's have water out. I have a perfect idea for him. Nice try. No, you can do this. Yeah, it's a boost attack power. It's not good enough as it is, so. Yep. Oh boy. Thank you for wasting a 10 there. Alright. Too bad I can't have the partners do the Star Spirit stuff, but what can you do? Alright. I just forgot, realized I forgot to give the composer the, the singer the music. Oh well. I'll put that on my to do list. I'm not gonna go out of my way to go back and do that, at least not like this instant. Alright, I'm just gonna make a jump on Bowser for a bit. Take him out. That's not how you take him out in the normal games. You like far far away using an axe on them, but. I'll just do it this way. Yep, it's not over yet. I have like two life streams on me, so I'm not even worried about that hap that affecting me, so. so this doesn't remind me of Tetris Second, it reminds me of Advanced World, actually. Both games were made by intelligent systems, so did they show up the same composer? I don't remember. Oh no! I lost me my uh drink. No not my drink, uh what? No, Trey can still do this peach beam with need beam. Alright. Let's get a big smooch. From the Godiva star. Oh 
Oh. All that hard work and shutting down his health. I can still do it, it's just... Oof, it's gonna be super tedious. Especially when he does that and wastes a whole turn for both of us. He doesn't attack me, but I don't attack him. Alright. Deal with this. Shut off. Hope what regains the senses, then I can actually beef my up so he can start doing more damage again. Do I have a German jelly on me? I should. Yeah, let's use that. Why not? Get that huge chunk of leaf in the other way, too. Alright. 50 points. And Maya's probably gonna die next turn, but I have a life stream, so I don't care. I just wanna keep mega jumping on Bowser. And. Okay, you're gonna do that again. That's fine, I can use take this time to uh, beef up my attack power. So good. So have you do that and heal yourself. Alright. Let's the star space to the thing. And let's watch up Mario. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, joke's on you. I actually charged Mario up. Might give him a s- nah, 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 nah. I have- I have two life shims on me. I- I'll deal with it. It's more important I take him out. I blocked it, but I still went down with the jump. Only for the life shim to bring me back again. Get a refund out of it, because... I think I can look on every single item I use. I probably look on some half of the time. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, did that stone attack actually do bad Mario? If it did, wow. I said, I think it's like one of the key times, it's not the only time I recall it actually having this game. Wow. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, now you're gonna do the little deeper attack again, aren't you? Nope, you're gonna do. Ah, poisoned me! That's not good. Alright, I'll do smooch. I have plenty of star points to go around. This should be nothing. I don't know if everybody's gonna do the next turn, so I'm just gonna do this. Especially since he's gonna do something like that. Whatever. Alright. Good. Don't want to score on forever, I want it to end at some point. Do 14 points of damage every turn at this rate. At least try to. Well, something like that happen. There we go, Peach Beam. This, yeah, Peach Beam. Yeah, yeah I'm getting a lot of Advanced Wars vibes from the music. Again, I need to check this. See, I need to see if they have the same composer. Oh, that was new. Alright, Mega Bounce. Okay, I've actually created more damage than he had initially, so... Man, can't recover all, all the back. Nice try. 
Desperation move. You should be down soon. And does this take him out? Yep, it takes him out. Lightning coming out of his weird body, and yep. Yep, that's basically a fate. Anything but Mario you do well against. Well, maybe not Luigi or Peach, or even a Toad, but. Aside from those, yeah, you do pretty well. the star rod back. Mario death, uh, like, the death of time as well. Like, it might really be around that frame rate if, at the time of release. Like, how many games might even have come out at that point? So how many have had Bowser in this world? That's another question. Seriously, Mario caught by going and tallying how many times Mario's beaten Bowser in all the games. What about all the Toads and the Koopa Trolls and Hammer Brothers? What about everyone inside the actual castle. What happens to them? Are they going to take refuge in Peach's castle or something? I'm going to assume that's what happens, because otherwise that would be kind of a miserable way for all those lives to end. Something explosion off into the setting. And of course, the stars are keeping Mario and friends safe. And I'm guessing the silly thing, Peach's Castle, back down to the ground. All is that as it should be, I suppose. There you go. Like we built it, star. All right. And you guys are gonna only appear in a mediocre Mario Party game and never show up again. Although Trick, I don't think ever comes back. Uh, the stock is even in like any like Bowser and Star. I don't even remember this being stars yet. Yeah, uh, all the big trays and whatnot. Nope, he never lands. Yeah, he could be pretty, pretty friendly if there's someone else causing trouble, but if he's the only game in town, then yeah, he's gonna get the crap up and just cause a commotion, ruckus, chaos. Anarchy. All right. Crazy on the Mario. Plum of salvation. The emotionless murderer of turtles and mushrooms. If I you, yeah, you're never gonna pop up ever again. Not that you probably would have popped up anyways because of what direction they took, but definitely not now. I don't know if stars in whatever peaches works out though. I even like the new spider is U Deluxe makes the question exactly what Peach is. Is she an evolved form of the toads? Is that why she's a princess? She'd be the queen, actually, but... Princess sounds cuter, so whatever. Why not be an empress, like Melia? Why not do that? I don't know, Xavier was 
good about not keeping a prince as a princess just because of a title. Like you, you lose your brother and father, you have to be. You're basically next in line. Has Mario actually ever talked to me of the official Nintendo games? Like when Luigi's not playable, he talks. But has Mario ever? I'm not talking about like the educational spin-offs of Hotel Mario. None of that. I mean, like. Has Mario himself actually said anything in any of the games beyond the... Like, I think the most talkative he ever gets within the first one of us is Donkey Kong, oddly enough. I think it's the only game that makes any effort to have him talk. Otherwise, he speaks gibberish or he doesn't say anything at all. Or he's just like, talk phases like, let's -a go, it's me, that sort of thing. And everyone's back to their duty, back to the usual duty. Goomba is hanging around in his village. Uh, okay, he's still doing letters, as usual. I also think Parake is like a common- Like, he appears in Fasten Your Door in a cameo, doing his usual. Don't know if he appears in Super Proper, though. Again, the more I think about Goombas, the more I get confused. How can they fun fun handle anything about any proper limbs, like arms? But I also remember they, again, they run on the home star on a logic of functioning. They can just pick things up without having to. Everyone's being invited to go into the shindig. Unique male reading spites I don't think they normally have. Hey, Watts sends the shy guys. Good for her. So she's babysitting the Yoshi kids again. That is my well behaved and sleeping. There's Michael and his girlfriend. Probably wondering why I'm calling him Michael instead of his actual name. That's what he calls him. He accidentally called himself that at one point. I'll just call him that out. Now then, gentlemen. It's time to scale the frosty heights to the Crystal Palace. Good boy, boy. You're in charge of guarding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our, of our expedition. Hold that one. Carl is the only character I like doing any sort of voice for. I like him. An archaeologist. Super with a hand with a handlebar mustache. Of course, that's the best thing ever. Yankee! That case inviting everyone to Princess Peach's castle. Everyone who helped out. Oh Poppycock! Follow Dash! Don't be daft, dear boy! Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. Go to the party this instant. Don't spare me another fault. Don't ruin the party if the hero of Cooper Village, nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom wasn't even there. And I'm scaring people away doing those voices. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Somebody's getting a divorce soon. Yep, you're a fairly negligent person. Oh, good gracious. Pepper Kay! Why in the world didn't you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy! And that's a way back home with all to do speed! And that should be the last time I have to do any Colorado voice. I apologize, and I'm sorry if that got on your nerves. Though I'm not too bothered by it. Like... That said though, don't expect me to do voiceovers for any other character unless I particularly like that character. So, which is probably a blessing to you guys, but... And now the ending of the game mirrors the beginning of the game. 
My brother's going to a big party at Peach's castle. Alright. Yep. And we're just gonna go do his usual RPG sh RPG shtick. Let's go ahead and talk to some of the yep. The Goom Goomba family's here. Check Christmas here. He's not doing Christmas anymore, and then there's the good assistant. He doesn't talk at all. That's a little remix. Oh, here he is. Not done yet. Greetings, old boy. Don't forget Mr. V's at the castle, eh? I can't say I'm terribly excited about myself. My heart yearns to go to Crystal Palace. Yearns, I say. So many mysteries await me in my dizzying intellect. Oh, the pain of it all. You understand my yearning, don't you, old boy? I think I do. Maybe I don't. Yeah. Well, I tried. I can't. Uh, no, mine doesn't really talk to anyone. He just lists. That's all he does. And then there's one of the Yoshis. Alright. There's the Penguin Mayor. And the Wobbly Boos. And there's old, there's old Chutsy with the Yoshi himself right here. Didn't even know there was a whale there. Again, I'm still amazed that there's a fat Yoshi considered all things considered. I also believe that little Toad Chancellor there is a character from Super Mario RPG as well. This is the only other time he ever appears outside of that game. Since he's a Toad character, I guess I got away with it. He's not an original creation of Square, I suppose. Kind of poor Toad's Wolf. We have to set you for a new quest. Let's see to continue. Oh, at least Peach is not going in that phase where she would do that. Nope, the stars are sending their thanks and prayers to everyone that helped out with this adventure. Goombario, Cooper, Harakiri, Bao, Wat, Sushi, Michael, the weird Sorcerers, sorceresses, the chef, the shopkeepers. The fact that almost all the NPCs in that unique name was kind of, again, very unique. I don't think passing your door did that. And yay, we're gonna celebrate! We have the best of remix of the ending theme of the original game, so... And then comes the obligatory, uh, RPG Parade. A tradition that started with Super, Super Mario RPG and actually since it's stuck around as far as the newer games. That's kind of cool, actually. And, for the most part, RPG is usually leading them, so... It might as well was a really fun experience, and I'm glad this turned out to be well. Especially for a little, for what was basically a casual playthrough. I have, like, Crossing Your Door and Super Paper Mario, but I'm not going to be playing those soon. Maybe at some other point, but not now. I just wanted to do this one because I felt like it. And for personal reasons, I don't know if it's nostalgia or whatever, but I kind of like this one. This is, like, my favorite of the series. I don't know why, I just like its presentation. Gameplay-wise, Crossing Your Door is better in that regard, but I always, I don't know. There's just something about the way this feels. Super Mario World bonus music! Nice! There was the partners, there was those traveling Toad sisters. Twin Quizmo and his weird assistant. The Koopa Brothers. The imprisoned Bob-Arms. I like this little melody of all the different themes. 
call out of his wife in the giant tuna. Really a whale, but he thinks it's a tuna and I'm inclined to go with him on that. Why not? The badge sellers. Mustafa, I believe. Pop Tenten Koopa and the Chain Chomp. Mustafa's probably asking for Dusty Hammer and Dried Shrew. How is this all? I'm kind of confused by the logics of how everything's moving. Like, the moat seems to be going rightwards, but then the stuff in the background's going forward. Like, it's a treadmill, so it's kind of weird. Buzzard and baby buzzards. That's something. That's a Gummy King's theme. Gummy King's not here, though. There's a boot club. Type of this theme. Apparently, the booze are carrying his lifeless corpse around. He's a hot. It's hard to have him again, but it seems like his body's actually lifeless. There's the Goomba King. And the Goomba Brothers, the red and blue ones. Again, how's everything moving? That's. This is so confusing to my little brain. The Yoshis. And then Mr. Badass, Raphael the Raven himself. Like, yep. He even says Yoshi on the little button. And there's a lot of piranha. For some reason, it's there. Uh, Why is it part of the parade? Why a lobby antagonist is part of the parade? Seems, seems like it's unintentional, some of it, it is though. Uh, one of the little baby Yoshis. Oh! That's half and half. Is this a Yoshi's story reference? Even the gourmet guys apparently might. Yeah! He's basically Cloud and Candy's much tougher cousin. I don't know why the gourmet game wants to eat those dirty looking clouds though. There's the Crystal King. And a doppelganger. Duplicos, specifically. There's another one. Yep. I'm glad they even did the Duplo Ghost, and then the Crystal's carry the Crystal King off. Junior Trooper picking a fight up Kami for some reason. Don't know why. Juggling Hammer Brothers. That's immediately kind of neat. Bows himself kind of being a sore ass. Whoops. Yeah, if you leave something inactive on the Wii or the Switch, like the modern Nintendo console, it blacks out. Which I get why, but I don't know. I want to sit down and, and look at these nice little visuals myself. Star Spirits, now it's nighttime without having actually making it nighttime. Decorating winter trees like it's Christmas. Alright. Well, almost done, I believe. And there's the penguins. The not dead mayor penguin and his wife. And there's the composer. There's a band which I forgot to help out. If I ever revisit this, I'll like. I have a bucket list of stuff I want to go and revisit and check out with the gameplay I've cleared. I'll go back and take care of this if it comes up to that. Amazing daisies. A neon version of that one tree from the flower fields. More different uh, sorcerers. Which again, I believe are based off of Super Mario RPG enemy. And surprised I got away with that considering, again, Square owned anything original to that game. I guess giving him different clothes and facial hair, and like hair and facial hair, it, it helps, I guess. Bubba. Shy Guy, 
and I believe this one's the general guy in this class A. Yep. Falling out a little... Hi-ho! Oh yeah, Hi-ho is the Japanese name for Shy Guys, I believe. And that's sad. I'm surprised they didn't like, change that or localize it to like say Shy Guy or something. Kind of weird. Yeah, I think this is almost over. We just have to do... And then tear the flowing caps. That's freaky. How does that work? Shigami, producer Shigami Yamamoto, who probably didn't do anything. Like, I'm... I'm sure he's aware of this game's existence. I just don't think he actually did anything with the game. I think he had way more involvement with, with Sticker Star than any of the other Paper Mario, to be honest. Like, any game before and after that, he didn't, he didn't have any... He didn't do anything, and then... He finally concluded with Paper Mario, Peach, and Twink. Oh yeah, and there's more... The fights are going on, but they're kind of... Just about done. Don't want to see more of the glowy toad spots. I'm gonna go hang out at Mario's pad. I don't know what pipe is conspicuously absent or not seeing it. And yep, that's the end of uh, Paper Mario. Really great, fun little simple RPG. Nice introduction to the genre. I would definitely recommend it. So I guess if you want a better gameplay experience, go for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars is pretty good too. Like, it was really fun checking this out again. I'm sorry I wasn't here to do it last week. It's just kind of a precautionary. I take care of other things and. But yeah, still have an hour left to go though, and I actually do. I'll think of something to entertain you guys with. Gonna take a small break, get things sorted out. Uh, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back, so just stay tuned. I'm the Colonel! I'm the Colonel!
I'm the colonel. I figured I'm gonna cut. I usually try to come up with games of similar type yeah. games. I did Sonic Saga also, so I think the fans be really after Banjo Tooie. I did Rocket Cookie Showtime after Mission Makers. And I'm gonna do another Battle Mario Party. Let's do my lonesome friends. In fact, uh, can we do the. Yeah, we're gonna do the minigame line this time. I don't know if we have enough time or if I have enough time. Maybe we have enough time to do board game, but probably not. Look at the mini game garden. Is it gone or is it the mini game coaster? Can I have Tiffany here? Let's have another crack at this. Wow, this is wild and Paper Mario Bros. Alright. Be the Yoshida. He's gonna be my ally. Uh, how about Donkey Kong? Yep. I'm gonna try my work in the minigame poster and see how that turns out. I even forgot. I feel like this mode was. Yeah, I like him. I have to do every single mini game. Oh wow! So I basically have to beat all of them, and if I lose, then I oh, just have an interesting uh, take on the whole. All right. I'll do a normal co course. Or maybe it would. I can't do the hard course, I have to do the normal course first. Alright, let's do the normal course and see how this turns out. My brother's lucky, he doesn't have to be here and stuff with us. Alright. We'll go on this. So I'm assuming that Yoshi or... Donkey Kong. I don't know why Donkey Kong said. I'm guessing it's after two versus two mini games or three versus one. All right. Oh whoa whoa whoa! No 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 Peach. No, you're a cheater. I know that much. I'm not gonna shoot me off. There you go. Why is the fly guy frozen in the island? Did he pop out or no? Guess not. Alright. This is certainly going to be an interesting experience. Roll car. Yeah. Alright, I got to count all the different pictures that are up on the screen, all the different characters, I call them. B4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna go up 17. I could be wrong, but that's how many I'm seeing. Yeah, it's around that range. I think it's 17, personally, but I could be wrong. We'll see. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's 21. I think Peach got it. We'll see. Oh man. Nobody got that one. Miss! Do I have to do that one again? I have to do it again. Lovely. Okay. It's kind of hard to, especially with these booze. It's like... 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. I count 18 this time. I hope it's 18. That's all I made out. I could be very, very wrong here. We'll see. We'll see. What a game to be swiped on. This is basically the thing that was hunting me at the beginning of this. It was the same, sim, similar, same concept. It's a little mini game that was at the beginning. Oh no. It's hard to kind of keep dibs on where the booze are, and I'm gonna lose all my lives on the second mini game. Alright. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of really hard to keep tab, especially since they keep the transparent and they're going in and out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I say 19, but it's probably going to be 20 or something. We'll see. So going a little higher, that makes me anxious. Again, my intuition says... 19. We'll see. Regardless, this is a pretty rocky start to the little mini game coaster. Okay, I'm not the only one who thinks 19. Everyone else, Luigi Mario thinks 19. It's 20! Oh my god, I'm always like. Oh. 19. That's it, I believe, right? No, I have one more chance to mess it all up. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I counted seventeen. Ah. I count 17, but I could be wrong. I think it's probably going to be 18, right? It's gonna, I'm going to be one off again. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Finish! Finish! It's going to be 18, isn't it? I actually got it this time. Wow. This time. Incredible. Now I can't afford to lose any other game. The tile driver. This is the one I believe. Yeah, this is the one where you have to. Yeah. This should be a piece of cake. I hope it is. I don't see why it shouldn't be. And I have to make a Koopa. Alright. Okay, this teach is actually doing pretty well. Or not, she just went blood goods. Yep, I got this. Piece of pie. Piece of cake. Piece of Swiss cheese. Piece of pizza. Pizza pizza. I get bonus coins if you do um, this really well. Alright, what am I gonna get next time? Slot card derby. Oh, is it? Oh. I know this one, I just don't know if I can do it so well. Like, last time I recall the CPU got the new record. That's how concerned I am. Yeah, and then I worry about spinning out, out of control. And I... Alright, come on. Wario, no, that's Peach, that's Peach, isn't it? Oh no, no! And of course I set a new record. How unfortunate of me.
back to the start and go. Do the are the mini games randomized or are they all always the same? So... Alright. They're gonna be the same. Oh boy. Alright. Bumper balls isn't too tough. It's one of the most straightforward ones here. I don't know if that was Oyo Peach that messed me up last time. But, alright. You can go away too, Mario. Come on. Yeah, you're going down, Mario. I suppose playing more momentum in than I am. It's nuts. No! I fell off! This isn't a road, this isn't a minigame coaster, it's a minigame train wreck. That's what it is. It's a minigame cave in, to be more precise. Thank you, Mario. You saved me some time. And you can go away, Peach. You, both of you can go away. Peach especially, she seems like, for some reason, seems like she's like the best AI player in these Mario Party games, or at least Mario Party 2. Feels that way! Alright, come on! I've had enough of this. Go away. No, seriously, go... Well, why don't you just go away? No, really? Seriously? Alright, it's just me and her. There we go! Wait there, I was waiting there for a second, but... Did pretty well, I think. Oh boy, now we're gonna do the roll call one again. It's not just booze here, it can be other... Is it just booze? It says characters, so it may... Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. I'm gonna say 19, it's probably gonna be 18, but I'm, more, I'm just gonna add extra and see what that gets me. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, my hat is correct. I guess 18, but I had an extra number, and yeah, what extra? My hat was correct. Alright. Hair driver. Easy one. Clear. Straightforward, clear cut. This time you gotta make a Koopa again. Yep. Almost there, just gotta hit two more. And they were very close that time. Wario especially, he was like... Yeah, Wario and Mario were like very close there, but... I still got the drop on them. They did pretty well. I want 90, I want... I don't want any, I want... Can not suck up everyone again? The one I'm worried about spinning out on. Alright. Let's try again. Let's see how this turns out. And I spun out of control because, jeez, I'm scared.
Because, yeah, I, I'm worried about just stunning stuff a little bit, but then something like that happens, and then... Peach catches up. Oh, that's Wario. Wario is, like, super, really super good at this. And I spin off control again, because... It's super hard for me to kind of time it. Miss! Alright. Let's try this again. Yeah. There's Peach, she's probably gonna win this one easily. Alright. Right again. I'm just gonna wing it. And then if I wing it, then that happens. Wonderful. I don't know, it's just if I go slow, then I risk. Yeah, I always risk that happening, but. I made it that time! What a relief! Though, I feel like I got lucky there. Alright, got past that one. Which one's next? Well, wait to me on this weird minecart ride to minigame hell. Save point. Alright. Cake factory. Alright. Feel a lot more. I feel a bit more comfortable with this one. Alright. Yeah, no, I, I feel better about this. Okay. No, I missed. I missed. No, oh, I missed. I missed again. I keep missing. How am I missing? Yeah, I'm t I'm always too early. That's what happens. I'm still too early. That was a poor sh shine on my end. I'm used to being so precise and... Precise I was not. Alright. Try this again. Alright, and they're still, even though I'm doing competently, they're still ahead of me. I'm ahead of them for right now, but how long will that last? Dang it! Donkey Kong! Oh well, at least we got through this time. Yay! I can't afford to lose one more game now. Destruction do a... That's nah, Destruction do it! Yeah. Alright! I'll try this one. Let's see how well I do. Yeah, I think I can get the idea to jump and kick. We'll do this. Like, get on top of the statue and ground pound it. That seems to be really effective. Seems like it's a little tricky to get on top of it, though, but... Yay! I did it! And I should have enough coins to get a 1-up. Yep! Yay! A 1-up in a party game! Who? What a concept! Balloon burst. Oh, it's this one. This should be easy. It's well, it's easy when I'm playing with my brother, but... Yeah, we're doing good so far. 
It's kind of weird how the battle of the balloons animate, though. Finish. Really surreal. They don't want to be part of this inflation nonsense. It's not as fetish. All right. Now it's an easy one. What's next? Looney Lumberjacks. Oh, is this the this is the one where you have to grab the piece of lead and then you have to clear it? No, this is the one where you. Okay. There we go. This isn't too bad. Pretty simple, actually. I'm not gonna get this though. It seems like the. Oh, we got this. Seems like we are very close though, oddly enough. Good. Let's let the non humanoid characters have a chance to shine. Alright, if I do well in the next game, then. Speed hockey. I don't remember this one. Well, it's a pretty simple concept. It is basically air hockey, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is very hard to maneuver. Thank you, Donkey Kong! Big help there! Big help, Donkey Kong! Yeah, you're a bit of big help. Oh no, oh no. Oh, come on. Right, come on. Come on, get in there. There we go. Now, oh, boys, on to this last one. And, wow! The back players are just really kind of winging it. Not just like a Kong as well, and luckily for me, that worked out in my favor. Constant winning streak. And I got another one up. Things are looking bright. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Alright. Light World 3. The crane game. Oh no, who's doing what? Okay, I'm picking them up. Alright. Alright. I can do this one. I can definitely do this one, I think. My brother always was an ace at this game, though, so I don't know. But mash, but mash, but mash. This isn't Canary May, but it still got me nervous. Just grab the clock first, get myself plenty of spare time. Grab the weird looking dolls. Like they look, they look like bootleg versions of the characters, actually. The bootleg Maya doll. Nope. Hold on to it, Yoshi, hold on to it. That's half a minute's worth of time there. Excellent. They're going in first. You're the bane of my existence in the Mario Party games. Alright. Now time for Mr. Greed is good. How's Greed going for you now, Wario? It was not gonna give you everything. But need the power drive you to do it. Alright. Time to do with you. Or not. I didn't pick him up somehow. Good thing I picked up all the extra time though. Alright, this should get him. There you go. Now let's just drop his uh, bootleg butt into the wall pipe. There we go. This seems like such an unfair game. Whoever's the crane seems to have the advantage. If they prioritize the time first and then go after the. Nice! Keep this winning streak up. Guys, just keep it up and. Look away. Yeah. All right, it's this one. I gotta assess the. Stop. 
Alright. Top Wario. Oh, I didn't get them. Try to make them out, but. Oh, no, Luigi was. Yeah, we just gotta win by doing nothing, isn't it? Ah, they, uh, they're freaking me out now. Oh boy. Yeah, just, uh, playing the do nothing game on me. Oh boy. Yes. All right. Let's try again. Try again. Let's see if I can catch one from doing nothing myself. Nope! Now they're gonna start doing something, because I'm. No, no, I'm gonna try doing nothing and see what happens. Now the. I feel so dumb right now. I was thinking they were gonna try. Look, I'm pretty much trying to make sure to see that. Oh wow, I'm not gonna get any. Here I was thinking that they were doing that and they were winning before. Now they're not doing that. And... Ah. Not a good idea, Mr. Luigi. Alright. Let's give it yet another shot. Last shot, I believe. Not gonna work, I'm just gonna go in the random direction and see if they go for it. Nobody got it. Uh, I'm not looking, I'm just... Got Mario. And then I get the other two. Alright. Ah! Two more tries, I believe. We'll see. Got Wario. Now I just need to get Peach. Ah! I looked that time, but I got him. I looked for the last one. Tried to get hit, because I didn't want to be faked on that regard. Alright. Gotta find chance again. Just gotta clear the next mini game. Archer Rival. Alright, this is the one I think it is. Yeah, this is one of the unfair one versus three ones where the one has the advantage. Takes a while to shoot, but. Alright, thank you for staying over there. Thank you so much. Oh, and you had to move. Dang it, baby Bowser. So close. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No! You don't trick me. Oh my. So if I go back to this particular section, not the whole, uh... Okay, that's something. Alright, let's try this again. We'll start the king game again. That's pretty simple. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just start with the clocks first, because that's the easiest one. We can grab all Luigi here. 
The fee's better going on to him. Hold on to him just long enough. Alright. Crap, I didn't grab it. Oh, I did. Just hold on to it long enough and... I think I can be... I think I should be able to grab Raya, actually. That's... Can we? Yep, we should be able to do this. As long as he doesn't slip out my clutches somehow. Which he didn't. He's, uh... He's behaving. Alright. So, got to that quite easily. Now we're going to look away again. Not this one. Alright. I'll try to figure this one out. Dang it. Got faked out. I got faked out again. This is always the problematic one. Got beach that time. Now I need to get the other two. Alright. I think I had a chance to move there, unfortunately, and I think I blew it. Alright. Oh. I failed. Another miss! Alright. Let's try this once again. See what happens this time. I'm not, look, I'm not gonna look this time. That doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Ah! Sorry, I'm distracted. It's now the cats are starting to get rowdy. Now they choose to get rowdy. At least I got wild that time. Right. Oh man. Yeah, like the game. Sorry, it's like getting to the point where the, I'm worried she's gonna mess with the cords and knock something loose. That's how preoccupied I am right now. It's a bit wild, but it doesn't excuse my bad performance, but it's like I'm worried about what I'm worried about the stream I think too much Shelly more than I am my skills right now. Okay, I got Wario. That's one down. Okay the other two. Okay, I got Mario, so I have three tries to take down Peach. Alright. Dang it, too slow. Like, you have to be really precise with your movement there. Oh man, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna get extremely lucky, but I don't adopt that. Yeah, cause, yeah! My brother explained it to me every time you're playing this. You have a bit more wiggle room with your movements when you're amongst the three than you are the one trying to catch them. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Let's see how this turns out. Oh man! Alright, I'm gonna not look and see what happens. I got Peach. So, let's see, can I get the Mario Brothers? Apparently not! Alright. Yeah, 
Luigi was doing nothing, I saw that. I just... Oh boy. I got Luigi, but I didn't get Mario. And, uh, oh boy. And that was a pathetic display right there. Very pathetic. And I think I'm about done. I want to quit now before some calls get knocked loose. That's how paranoid I am right now. Sorry, but... Alright, I thank you all for coming. Thank you for checking for seeing the conclusion of the Paper Mario playthrough and for seeing me torture myself with some Mario Party 2 minigames. Uh, we're gonna try to spend co-op Monday. That's basically like a re Half-Life mod that lets you do pretty much anything based on that game. We're gonna try to do a multiplayer set, possibly with other people during that time. Wednesday, we're going to be doing Perfect Dark Zero, the inferior prequel to Perfect Dark. That's going to be a bit of fun, I hope. And next time, as I said earlier, I'm going to be going out to the Digital Ape Escape. I need to double check and make sure my PS1 is still in working condition, but I'll find some way to play it. I mean, I really, really want to go for the Digital Ape Escape. That is, that is my childhood favorite, and I want to pay honor to it after... The closure of the studio that made it. Anyway, anyways, again, thank you all for coming. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy, the usual. Get yourself treated. And get st tr just try to be just be happy. Try to enjoy life as much as you can. And. Um, my last comment, I guess, is uh, I got a lot of things planned out in the future for streaming. I'm just like I do have like months from from now. That I hope you will enjoy. Like I already know what I'm gonna do after Perfect Dark Zero, and again, I think I have some. I'll try to do some crap this Monday, but next Monday, I have that planned out to some extent. But until I. We meet again whenever. Uh, adios, amigos.